So I got signed when I was 17. In high school, they literally said it over the announcement. They were like, congratulations, Kaylee Amsets for signing to Atlantic Records. Also for lunch, it's pizza. Like it was literally that, like there's pizza. Like, they used to do the morning announcements over the intercom, right? Yes. yes. From Amazon Music, it's the walk-in, honey. What's the tea, honeybee? It's Mo Hart here, back with another fabulous dose of fashion and music here on The Walk-In. Saddle up with me as we giddy up one down to the Pink Pony Club to check out the fabulous closet of the doll, the diva, Chapel Roan. Chapel Roan has made a name for herself with her electrifying performances, heartfelt lyrics, and theatrical DIY style. With the new album and headlining tour, this Midwest princess is just getting started. Come on, diva, let's get it on up. Lule, 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 lule. Hey! Oh <laughs> that was great. You want to do another one? Yes. Lule, 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 lule. I'm like, how are you just going? Do you smoke? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it did it. It's okay. This was twenty dollars. Shh. We'll talk about that later. But it looks great. Okay. Yeah, I do. I need to quit. Same. Okay. Good. All right. Closet oh time. This is so uh, cute. This is giving me like Debs. Isn't it the little prom store back in the day? Debs! Yes! <laughs> yes! I used to just want to go in there and just put on a dress and just be a lady. Anyway, I know. Wait, wait, wait. it's so cute. My dear, welcome to The Rewind where we get to find out who you were, inspirations, influences before you became the superstar that you are today. Oh. So let's start here. This is for the cover of my song, Feminine Amanon. This is probably my favorite look and of you had your girls all time. I did, this is real dirt bike gear. Like, yeah. You can feel it, I ordered it off Amazon and then I had a friend, she made assless chaps, she handmade, like. Oh, I'm totally about to steal Isn't this, this crazy? <laughs> yeah. Oh! So what was the inspiration for the song? I just was having a horrible time with men and I felt like it was a phenomenon for a woman to actually enjoy sex with a man. I'm here vibe. for that. That's why it's a little sexual, but it's also dirt bike. Like, this is also, this is... I did this too. This is all hand done, and these were like cut out. It's, it looks a little like bad, but you can't really tell. It's drag race ready. Missouri. Missouri. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Because we're both Missouri queens. Yeah. How did you go from small, I mean, Springfield is a small, for me. I'm like one of the kids who got uh, discovered on YouTube. So I got discovered when I was in high school and got signed when I was 17. In high school, they literally said it over the announcement. They were like, oh, also like, congratulations, Kaylee Amsets for signing to Atlantic Records. Also for lunch, it's pizza. And like, they literally, like it was literally that, like there's pizza. Like, cause they used to do the morning announcements over the intercom, right? Yes. yes. How has it been from that announcement and then everybody in your home city to like now? I got dropped in that time, re-signed, I was independent, I ran out of money, I moved back in with my parents at one point. If I look back at it, I was like, damn, I can't believe I didn't quit. Yeah, you know? that's what I was just about I was to like, get, like you kept going. It's just been a wild ride and this style wasn't always my style. Yeah. I used to be very like witchy, dark, serious, and I was just like emo and, and like wanted to be a witch. It was just so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, she my yes. We love a Teddy Fringe girl. Wiggle, wiggle, <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. This is like so special to me as well because this is what I wore for my first headline show ever. <gasps> In the next night I opened for Olivia Rodrigo. I was walking through Silver Lake in LA and I saw this set on a mannequin that, and I was like, can you guys make me something custom? And this is the only time I pulled the Olivia Rodrigo card. She was like, we're booked. You would get it like next six to eight weeks. And oh I was like, God. look, I'm opening for Olivia Rodrigo and I really need this really bad. <laughs> and I will post you, I will tag you. 
like whatever you can use any of my content and they were like oh we'll have it to you in 10 days so it was just like come on big flag yeah i was that was the only time that i like pulled that card but this is very special it's just like oh, no. i worked really hard on this and it I just adore it. You are not just an inspiration to young girls and you know young people, but I'd say inspiration to anyone who has a dream, right? Because it's hard out there trying to do music right now. A career in music is a million baby steps. It's rarely big that jumps. Part. That's where this all came in. These are all little baby steps. Oh, <laughs> encourage, girl, encourage. Okay. Now this red one, my dear, <laughs> is giving me very, very get you, get you, ya, ya, ya. Yes, <sighs> yes. This I did fully myself as well. This was $20. Is there pasties up here? Yeah. Oh, she did it right, she's You know what I mean? <laughs> I wore this for my first New York show headline ever. It was opening for Fletcher, and literally, right before I went on stage, the whole back, ripped and I had like probably less than 60 seconds to try to fix it but it stayed up somehow now this the outside is giving me Nana's house Nana's that's so the valid. inside is giving me Nana has her groove back yeah. baby. this is Nana says I'm about to get some tonight she Do said it. I'm outside this is gorgeous <laughs> This is I got off of Etsy. It's just like a vintage 80s dress. It goes with these gloves. Ooh. That's what I wore for casual video. It's a video. Oh, that's the song that triggers me. Yes, we won't talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. Let's yes. go ahead and tell the people about the song Casual. <laughs> what is it about? Um, casual is about a relationship that didn't feel casual to me. Oh. You can stop right there. That's it, girl! But the, I live for these. Did you make this? Yeah, I did. And if you can tell it says chapel on the little thingy right there. Yep. This took a long time. Uh -huh. But this is what I wore on tour because I do basically a cardio routine on tour. You know, it's the breakdown of the song. She says, wham, wham, wham. I said, oh, she was giving it. There are only two people in the world that wear pleaser shoes. Strippers and drag queens in it. <laughs> I danced it in the, in the My Kink is Karma music video. Okay, Erica Jane. <laughs> well, it, was, it was really hard too, because it was on carpet that I was dancing. And then it broke, and then I was like, well, I have to f do the video, so we're just gonna glue it and hope that it stays. And that's why I do sketchers. At all your shows, you have drag queens perform. They're really like important to you, so talk about yeah. that. It was very important for me to include them, encourage the audience to tip them. Which is major, because a yeah. lot of folks like to book us for events, and then you up there working it, working it, working it. I ain't see no money in the crowd. Yeah, I just love drag so much, and I think it shows like in yes, ways up here, just because- This is drag. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely drag. She's about to dance the house down in this number. Yes! Drag queens, drag kings are the most beautiful people in the world. I just think drag is, like truly my version of seeing a Disney princess when I was six. Like um, I look at drag queens and I'm like, oh my God. We didn't need to cover <laughs> nothing else. Well, my dear, this has been amazing getting to know who you are, where you're from, how you got started, and the rewind. But now it's time to push on to the forward where we get to know who you are right now, where are you going, and what you're working on. This is the gown I wore for the album cover, mm. The Rise and Fall of Midwest Princess. I styled it myself in the photo. I did my hair, I did my makeup. I live how, like, uh, what's the word? Frugal. Frugal. Well, it came out of necessity because I was independent when most of this happened it really makes hard. Sense, but you did it and you did it right in the sense that you were frugal, saved a dollar, but you got the point that I'm a star, this is my point of view, and this mm. is what I need to showcase. So mm -hmm. you did it. It just also helped that the aesthetic of the chapel project is mm -hmm. tacky. <laughs> and like, there is no way in hell that I wouldn't get ripped apart for wearing that on any type of carpet. Part of me wants to wear that to be like, no, you can wear a $50 prom dress to the red carpet. It, I think it, you it should. It helps that. Here you go, wear it and just have a bag that says, tell me I can or something like Tell that. me I can, exactly. It's very bad. I was gonna wear this for my mini doc that came out. Uh huh kind of explaining the album. I just didn't think it would work in a cornfield. Yeah, Beautiful. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe in like a field of like lettuce. Not field. like dead grass. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a just photo that. shoot in, in like a field of healthy grass. Yeah, or gra lettuce. alive. Kale. Kale. <laughs> Kale. Tell me about the new album, The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess. It is my debut album. I'm so happy with it. I've never been so in love with art that I've made, and mm. I just think that it encapsulates my journey of moving to LA, exploring queerness, 
feeling joy for the first time and then the fall being like, oh, LA feels not like home and I fell in love with a girl and then I feel the most broken heart I've ever felt and I have a tour to go with it. Side note, you know what this like show reminds me yes. of? is like Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> it was made in the 1990s. The value is going for $250. Did you, Did you say, see wow. the price tag? Yeah. It was literally $40. Like the, the price tag was so honest, $40. I live. Tell me about my favorite. I do think I should wear this on a red carpet and do what you said, like literally. Yes, here you go. I think if you fully commit, so that way when they look at you, they go, oh, ah, you know? It's like a statement. It's an intentional like F you to the traditional whatever. I just love the aesthetic also of a Midwest prom. It's just like so tacky. We know this girl. Yeah. <laughs> we know this no, girl. No, no, this is like- Samantha, <laughs> this is you. I live, if you don't wear it. You can have it if you- Look, if I, if I, I just want one, and it's backless too, so these big shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick. We are gonna play a game before we go called Stage Go or Stage No, okay? Mm. Tell me which one of these comes to you as a go or a no. Stage diving. Stage no. <laughs> Hell no. Who was that man? Adam Levine, the little skinny one. He jumped off the stage one time and I saw somebody go on his shorts. That's it. Oh my <laughs> God. Skipping sound check. Why would you ever do that? Mm. Taking requests from the crowd. I love that. Okay. I love that. Skipping vocal warm ups. <laughs> no. Who's going to say yeah? Mm. Well, but here's the thing. I. I'm such a hypocrite because most of the time of like past tours, it just didn't warm up. Like, you just... I would skip it. Yeah, I would skip it. I'm a hypocrite. But nowadays, stage, no. Double encores. Last question. I think it's what the people want. Yeah. Stage, go. Have you ever been like, this show's done? Yes. I live. Like, I we, love. we're done. Well, Chapel, we're done. Well, this has been so amazing. Thank you for opening up your closet, your life, and inviting us in. Do you have anything else that you want to say to the people? Listen to my debut album, The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess. You'll see these looks. It's very much all here and more. Look, we've got to walk in. Now we're about to walk out. Oh, before we get out, do you know the name of that thrift store? Can we go check it out? I want to pick up a few things. Squaresville. Squaresville. Okay. Squaresville. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more episodes of The Walk-In. And click here to listen to my new album, The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess on Amazon Music. We'll see you next time. Bye.